Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to assign sounds from the Native Instruments package to MIDI tracks in GarageBand. So as you know, if you want to assign an instrument sound to a MIDI track in GarageBand from the collection that comes with GarageBand, over here on the left in the library, you just choose the instrument and double click it and it will be assigned to the track that's highlighted. But you can't do that with the Native Instruments package. You have to go down to the bottom here and assign them using the plugin window. So if this window down at the bottom, which is called the control window, isn't, isn't available if you don't see it, you can open it by clicking the knob icon over here at the top on the left, or you can go to view and show smart controls or you can just type the letter B as in banana on the keyboard. By default the plugins are not displayed in the control window so you have to click on the little arrow next to plugins and open up the inserts. The top insert is the instrument, and then the others are uh, effects processors that are inserted onto this track. So this is just like the, uh, the insert slots at the top of a channel strip in the Pro Tools um, mixer window. So to assign, to assign a different instrument, not one of the, the stock Apple instruments, you Take your mouse and hover over the top slot and you'll see that it brings up a up and down arrow. You can click on that up and down arrow and then the available external instruments that you have loaded onto your computer will, will, be, will show up. So you can click on the AU instruments or sort of hover over the AU instruments and slide over to native instruments and select complete control stereo. This is the best way to use the complete control pack, to use the complete uh, demo package because complete control organizes your sounds by type and characteristics. So if you're looking for bass sounds, you'll find them by clicking on bass and then going down to the bottom here and scrolling through all the instruments that have the bass sound in them. And so you can find them by, uh, for example, acoustic bass. Select the bass, select acoustic, and then you can see that I have one sound that, that matches that combination. If you want to do, uh, if you want to use the native instruments in the way like we use in the studio at school, when you hover over the instrument insert, go to the AU instruments and click and slide over to native instruments and just choose contact instead of complete control. And that'll open up a window that looks familiar to you. And any instruments that you have loaded on your computer will show up in this left hand list just like it does at school. I only have one instrument loaded on my laptop. It's the Retro Machines. So you click on the word instruments underneath that category and then either there's a list of instruments or there are folders that have instruments in them and then you double click that and it'll open up and it'll look just like what you see at school in Pro Tools. If you want to use the reactor instruments. So the, the sort of demo package that comes from Native Instruments includes some contact instruments and some reactor instruments. So if you don't use complete control to load them, you need to know whether you want to run reactor 6 or contact 5. If you choose Reactor 6, then you'll have to open up Reactor to get to the instruments that you have loaded, like MicroPrism, 
double click it, it'll open the microprism in the window. Okay, that's it. Pretty cool. Great instruments and they're free. See you later. Bye.